In this video, we're going to be looking at question 20 of the 2022 paper one for the further math GCSE. So in it, we've been given a curve y equals x to the four take away 18x squared. And we're told that it has three stationary points. And the question asks us to find these three stationary points and in particular the coordinates of these and determine their nature. Now, when we're talking about nature, we're talking about if those stationary points are maximums or minimums. Now, the way we're going to do this to find the stationary points is find dy by dx, make it equal to zero, and solve for x. So dy by dx, we're going to multiply by the power, take one away from the power, so 4x to the 3, multiply by the power, 36, take away one from the power, and it's x. And we want to know when this equals zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is factor out 4x. So we factor out 4x, it's going to leave us x squared, take away 9x. Now the first thing I notice is that this thing inside the bracket is a difference of two squares. So I can factorize that fairly easily. So I'm going to have x plus 3, x take away 3. So we've got our values of x being x equals 0, or x equals negative 3, or x equals positive 3. Now specifically ask for the coordinates, so we're going to have to substitute these values in. So we're going to get y equals 0 lots, sorry, 0 to the power of 4, take away 18 lots of 0 squared, which is 0. We're going to do 8y equals negative 3 to the power of 4. Take away 18 lots of negative 3 squared. So negative 3 to the power of 4. So we've got 3 times 3 is 9, times by 3 is 27, times by 3 is 81. Um, here we have got negative 3 squared, so that's going to be positive 9. So positive 9 times 18 is going to give me 162. So this is going to give me a value of negative 81. And the final one, we've got y equals 3 to the power of 4, take away 18 lots of 3 squared. So this is going to give me also a value of negative 81. So now we've worked out the coordinates, we need to decide whether those stationary points are maximum or minimums. Now, the way we're going to do that is by taking the second derivative and substituting in our values. Now, if dy by dx is less than zero, this tells us our coordinate is a maximum. If dy squared by dx squared is less than zero, it tells us that this is a minimum. So from above, we have dy by dx equals 4x to the 3, take away 36x. So d squared y by dx squared is going to be 12x squared, take away 36. So when x equals 0, we're going to have 12 lots of 0 squared, take away 36, which is going to be negative 36. This is less than 0. So it tells us that our coordinate, and we're going to have to list the whole coordinate here, 0, 0. If it's less than 0, it is a maximum. When x equals negative 3, we're going to have 12 lots of negative 3 squared, take away 36. 
Negative 3 squared is 9, multiplied by 12 is 108. Take away 36, and this is going to give me 72. This is greater than 0, so this is going to tell us that negative 3, negative 81, is a minimum. The final one. We can have when x equals positive 3. We're going to have 12 lots of positive 3 squared. Take away 36. We're going to be 108. Take away 36, which is 72 again. This is still greater than 0. So it's going to tell me that positive 3, negative 81, is a minimum.